In this video, I am going to solve this second order non-homogeneous differential equation. In order to solve a non-homogeneous differential equation, we kind of break it apart into two pieces. The first piece is the homogeneous part or the corresponding homogeneous part where instead of having sine of t on the right hand side, we're going to have zero. Okay. And we know how to solve it because the coefficients are constant and it's easy to solve. Now, the other part is the non-homogeneous part when you have sine of t on the right hand side and we try to find some specific solution or we kind of try to assume from our past knowledge some particular solution for this non-homogeneous equation. Then we combine them, okay, the non-homogeneous part as well as homogeneous part. So if we do so, this is what we get, our general solution for this equation is going to be y of t is equal to y sub h of t, which is the homogeneous solution. With that, I add or we add the non-homogeneous solution or what we call particular solution. And that is going to be your general solution. And now let's go ahead and solve the homogeneous part, which is very easy. y double prime minus 4y prime plus 3y is equal to 0. And we are going to use the usual substitution. We are going to assume that our solution to the second order differential equation is of this format. Okay, then if I take the first and second derivative and substitute it into this differential equation, then I'll have the characteristic equation and the rest. Now, if we do that, uh, we get the following r square minus 4r plus 3 is equal to 0. Remember, uh, after you take the derivative of it and plug it into this equation, you will get this, but this cannot be 0. This is not equal to 0 because it's an exponential function. Therefore, this must be equal to 0. And that's what we write here. And then we factor it, as you can see. And then after factoring, we get r1 is equal to 1, r2 is equal to 3. So my solutions are going to be e to the power t and e to the power 3t. So the general solution for this homogeneous differential equation is going to be y sub h, okay, is going to be c1, some constant, times the first solution, which is e to the power t, plus c2 times the second constant, e to the power 3t. Now we are going to get the solution or some particular solution for the non-homogeneous case when we will have a on the right hand side sine of t. What is the structure of that solution is going to look like? Since this is a trig function and the derivative of uh, sine is cosine and what, what not, so we can kind of assume the following. We can assume that our particular solution is going to look like this. So y sub p is going to be a times sine of t plus b times cosine of t, okay? Now, I'm going to take the first and second derivative of this, and then I'm going to go ahead and plug it into this equation. Now, if I take the first and second derivative of the particular solution and along with the particular solution that we are assuming to be the solution to this non-homogeneous differential equation, if we plug it in, we get basically this, okay, that is equal to sine of t, and I reorganize the terms, and if I do that, if I do the algebra, I get this. Now, there is one thing I have done here. You have sine of t on the right-hand side, right? Only sine of t. So I have the sine of t on the right hand side and next to it I put zero times cosine of t, which is basically telling you sine of t plus zero, right? Why did I do that? Because I want to compare apples to apples on both sides. On the left hand side of this equation, you have sine of t. On the right hand side of this equation, you have sine of t. If you compare the coefficients, they should be equal because we are assuming that this is our solution to this differential equation. So on the right hand side, coefficient of sine of t is 1. On the left hand side, coefficient of sine of t is uh, 2a plus b. So 2a plus, sorry, 2a plus 4b. So 2a plus 4b is 1. 
Now, if I compare the coefficient of the cosine of t on the left, which is 2b minus 4a, but on the right hand side, there is no cosine term, but I introduced one by adding, uh, by multiplying a 0 by cosine of t, right? So, 2b minus 4a must be 0, since the coefficients must match. That tells me b is equal to 2a, then I take that and substitute it into the first equation to get uh, 10a is equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 tenth, which tells me b is 1 fifth because b is 2 times a. Now that I found it, I found the values of a and b, then my particular solution y sub p is going to be a times sine of t. So a is 1 tenth, so 1 tenth times sine of t plus b, which is 1 fifth, b times cosine of t. Now, you have the particular solution as well as the homogeneous solution, right? So, your general solution is going to be y of t is equal to uh, y sub h of t plus y sub p of t or y of t is going to be this thing which is c1 e to the power t plus c2 e to the power 3t right plus the particular solution which is this guy 1 tenth sine of t plus 1 fifth cosine of t so this should be your general solution to this differential equation. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.